Yeah, episode five of Franchise Mode, MLB The Show 14. And uh, Trevor Cahill making his Twins debut. I'm going to be doing his start against Justin Masterson in Cleveland. And uh, Miguel, I don't think I said this last episode, Miguel Sano, in his, uh, not his debut, I think he played a couple games um, when I simulated. But he's getting the start at DH today. He's making his debut up here. And as well, um, that's about it. I think I called up him and... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say this last episode also, I realized. I called up Brian Dunsing and I DFA'd Matt Greyer. We're playing a Thursday date. I don't know what that's all about. But deep fly ball left field. Brantley's back now. He'll look up. That's out of here. I didn't think that one had the power. But as Waldo Arcia with the home run the opposite way to left field. Up the middle. Cabrera with the defense behind second gets four. Him. No, dropped by Giam. If it was an in-betweener, I would say, okay, yeah, error. That one's over his head. That one's over his head. As uh, Flor was that Florimon hit the ball up the middle? Yeah, Florimon had to hold to see if that one was gonna get caught or not, so he only gets a third on it. Brian Buxton with the double. Ground ball to short. They'll go the long way to first, as they're not gonna try Buxton at third. Anyway, deep fly ball left field. This one's hit deep, caught by Michael Brantley. Br uh, Byron Buxton will easily score from third. Is only gonna attempt it. And one hopper through the hole and in the right. He's one for two on the day. It's Justin Masterson and just seems not to have it here. And this one's ripped back up the middle. Back on the full run. Can't make the catch. Over his head. Ploops around third. He will score. Going for three right now is Oswaldo Garcia. The run scores. The throw. Not in time by as Carlos Santana can't get the tag in. Uh, down four nothing. And off the end of the bat, Suzuki goes two for two with a dribbler through the hole the first time and then off the end of the bat, liner down the right field left. Line on the game. If there's a sinker ball pitcher on the mound, uh, you know he has to throw down the strike zone. Anything above the thighs of the sinker's a hanger. Just like that. Just like that. That's why you can't go above the thighs with a sinker. Two-run shot, Eduardo Nunez. Six-nothing here. And, uh... He throws 26 pitches, goes three innings, gives up six runs, and uh, Carlos Carras. Oh, hit and run works. This one's hit in the deep right center. Flory will easily score. Without a throw. LeMay who's in there at second with a double. And David Murphy now hits one deep left field. And Ploof loses it in the sun, it looks like. He'll have to one-hop it off the wall. The throw in a second, not in time. Oh, that was a hanger. Arcia now. Didn't get much of a running th running start in his throw. Not in time by a lot. This one ripped over the head of Florimon in the left center. Ploof plays it off the wall. Throws it in the second. In there standing is Kipnis. Boot. That's like corner. Lonnie Chisnell now. Deep right field. Back of the track, at the wall, leaping. That one is into the visitor's bullpen, home team's bullpen. As I said, Trevor Kale's rolling gives up a uh, two-run shot to the right. And this now we got a ball game on our hands. It's a four-run game here in the bottom of the seventh. At the inside corner of the slider. This one's hit deep right center. Back on the full run is Arcia. Arcia now. He'll make the running catch. Brian Dunkson comes on and gets the last six outs of the game. As he faced six batters or seven batters to get the last... But make sure to hit the subscribe button as well if you guys uh, want to subscribe and, you know, you like the opposite.